So my friends, it's that time of the year again when we're taking a look at the very first release, the Beta 1 of iPad OS 14. It was released by Apple yesterday. Let's have a closer look and see what this thing does. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Okay, so about an hour after the presentation last night, the developer beta software was released on the Apple website and we were able to then download it. It was around about a five and a half gig file, which is quite large, but it's what you would expect with any new update nowadays. Now, with one of the big features, and we'll go through a few of them, was the fact that you've now got widgets which are customizable and also there's different types. So for instance here, the battery, you can choose between a small square, a little bar which goes across the middle, and also a larger box. And then you can drag that onto your widget panel. Now, from the presentation around the iPhone widgets, I thought that you would be able to move these widgets to different parts of the iPad screen, but it doesn't appear that you can do that. At the moment, they seem to be locked over on the left-hand side, and even when I went into settings, it didn't give me any option to put those widgets anywhere else at all. But please leave a comment and let me know if I'm wrong and I've just not found out how to do that. Now, one of the things I normally like doing when new software comes out is looking at all the different icons and how they've changed. Now, I don't know whether this is just because this is beta 1, but again, there doesn't seem to be any changes at all to any of the icons. For instance, let me show you this on my iPad on the left compared to my iPad Pro on the right. Okay, so I've reordered both of the home screens on both devices, the iPad Pro on the left running iPad OS 14 Beta 1 and the iPad 9.7 inch on the right running iPad OS 13.5.1. And as you can see, every single one of those main icons are identical. Now, sometimes in beta software, you'll see that this is the type of thing that changes as more and new betas get released. But normally, on the first beta, there are some changes made. Now, those of you hoping for big changes will probably be a little bit disappointed. This was always going to be a fairly minor update, since the first release of the iPad OS software was only released last year. But those changes that have been made, I think, are pretty good. One of these is search. So now when you draw up search, it comes up into the top middle. It doesn't take up the whole screen like it used to before. And it will allow you to go straight to apps. It will also search websites. It will search even within applications as well. This searching within apps is great when you're searching for a contact because you can type in their name and then you can search for them whether it be within FaceTime, phone, contact information or even email and things like that. One of the things that it appears that Apple have focused on this year is benefiting from the larger screen of the iPad and really looking at some apps and seeing how they can best do that. One of these is music, and so whereas before when you were playing a track, you had a small little music player down in the corner, you now have a full screen option. And if you're a budding karaoke artist, then if you choose, you can have the words appearing along the right hand side and sing to your heart's content. Now, one of my favorite improvements to the iPad in the last couple of years has been Apple Pencil, and certainly the Apple Pencil second generation. I think one of the biggest updates to iPad 14 or iPad OS 14 is going to be what they've done, the improvements to Apple Pencil. How about this? Draw a shape, hold it on the screen, and the same size shape gets created. The remarkable thing about this is the shape is created identically to the size and angle that you've drawn it. It really is very clever. You can even, even use this for things like arrows. Now, another feature for Apple Pencil this year has been the ability to write and it be copied as text. You can do this two ways. First of all, within any application, you can now write, for instance here, I'm writing in the search bar on Safari and it copies that as text. Now, quite why you would do that, I don't know but it's very clever. Another thing which is great is it recognizes two words. So here I've written two words. Now I can choose to move one of those words independently by selecting one of them, or I can double click again and I can click them and move them as one. It really is very, very clever indeed. You can even go into applications like Mail and write somebody's email address and it will automatically recognize it and then fill it in. What would be great in the future if it recognizes it as you type or as you write and therefore pre-fills it, that would be really smart. So hopefully that's something that Apple may be working on. 
So all of these features are called Scribble or within the new Scribble feature. And you can go into the settings and you can try these out for yourself by doing all the different things. You can even put a line through something, for instance, and it will end up deleting it. So again, very, very smart. This is really intuitive and I like the way that this is going. There are also a number of other, what I would call minor changes, but they're minor changes which actually work really well. The fact that you've got sidebars now in multiple applications is really, really helpful. Having the sort function as well within Finder, again, is great. You can sort by name, date, size, all the features that you'd expect within a Mac, for instance. Another great feature is the fact that the calls come in and they don't now take over the whole screen. They literally get a little notification in the top. So my friends, that's a quick overview of some of the new features in iPad OS 14. I'm gonna keep this installed on my iPad and as new updates get released, I'll let you know of the major changes. So make sure you hit that red button to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching this video and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next.